Okay, well, you can probably hear the wind. Or maybe not. Okay, this is Pat's Ham Shack's uh, first 4K video. Uh, and it'll be on the grounding system I've got here. Here's the service entrance. Uh, we're Comcast. Huh, looks so good, huh? Thanks. Here's the service entrance grounding block. And I guess that was here when I got here. My ground cable goes down. And I threw under the grass and to this ground rod, which is eight feet down. And in Cherokee County, uh, that is quite a feat. We have a few rocks. You've seen rocks in the pictures. Anyway, this big thick, I don't know, number two wire, number zero wire runs down the side of the house. Maybe 12 feet to this ground rod. See, there are two cables coming into it, clamped together. Uh, the wires all up under the side. Since I just moved in, I was able to pull the side up and get the wires under there. So, you really can't see it except for that. Anyway, that runs along the side of the house. Back to the shack exit uh, south box. So, the shack's right in there. And here's my shack exit yet to be painted, but just finished today uh, getting everything ready but that'll be coming in another video anyway that big ground cable comes in uh, it's this one goes over here maybe you can see right there that's where it comes in and clamps in I got one of those uh, if it's DX engineering or RF parts those ground rod brackets see that braid coming in there that's coming from the shack that's a like a one inch braid I got from the wire man at a ham fest anyway and then that's an eight foot ground rod and I do not have a ground wire running out there's a box in the woods, but the grounding system doesn't tie into it, so I won't cover it in this video. That'll be coming up in the antenna system and stuff cabling video. Well, thanks for joining me with the grounding video here. Uh, it seems to work for me. Maybe something similar could work for you.